these rugged pioneers. You call me Shane. Shane, who attracted the woman with his quiet strength, who fascinated the boy with the glint of his gun. We'd all be much better off if there wasn't a single gun left in this valley. A gun is as good or bad as a man using it. Shane! Arthur Shane is a western, 1950s western, continuing this uh, epic journey through as I go through the vault of classic movies. And I now I'm on to uh, more westerns. I've watched some westerns like High Noon, Good, Bad, the Ugly, Fistful of Dollars, and I got some other ones I kind of want to watch too. So I finally decided to watch this Shane movie because I've always heard it's one of the best westerns of all time. And what did I think about Shane? It's, it's alright. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So one of the things I think about Westerns, some Westerns for me, is that maybe just because I was not really raised on Westerns, and I, I enjoy some of the symbolism of the characters. Which, uh, Shane, he's a character who kind of wanders into these uh, people's lives. And he's kind of just kind of watching uh, events photo. Basically, Shane shows up offering these farmers kind of protection from this uh, guy who wants to run all these farmers out of town so he can control all the land. And it's basically kind of like a turf war. And then they bring in this really good sharpshooter, a uh, gunslinger, and then they, and then Shane's a good gunslinger. But really, you don't see any gunslinging until the end of the movie. But that's not really what the movie's about. It's like it, it's kind of it has this kind of moral story of do we really need do we really need uh, weapons in our lives? And this movie can I think could be used for today because there's that even that's that there's that moral message in the movie where uh, Shane uh, when the girls woman says like. This will only be safe whenever we're out of complete guns. And Shane says, this is just a tool. It's, this, it's just like an axe, a hammer, or anything. It just depends on how you use it. And I mean, it's a it's a movie that many people should uh, re-explore for because it movie kind of holds true to even today. I thought the performances were really good. I like the family. The kid, I kind of, at times, a little annoying because he's just running around in circles. Bang, 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 bang. The ending was very good. I mean, it's got... An iconic ending, I mean, people have uh, made fun of all the time, or not made fun of, but had just, Shane, come back! Overall, I very much enjoy Shane. For me, it's a little boring. It has uh, times, I was getting kind of tired of watching the movie, and it was kind of like when I watched High Noon. I liked High Noon. I liked High Noon probably more in this movie, but I thought this was a very decent uh, Western, but it was okay. So, guys, I'm going to give Shane a B-, minus, good performance. The end is pretty cool, and um, it's a decent western. If you're into a western, check out Shane. So guys, if you've seen Shane, where dots come below, let me know. And guys, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button, subscribe to see more, tell your friends about Easy Nation. All too easy.